family and today I'm going to share with you a traditional Filipino breakfast called silog. What is silog? Well, you just got to keep on watching. Before we get on with the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all the videos we upload every week. All right, let's find out what silog means. So a traditional Filipino breakfast is called silog. Silog means, so the C part, S-I, um, in Filipino is, for, is um, in context to sinigang, which is garlic fried rice. And if you haven't caught, um, caught that video, I actually did a video on an easy garlic fried rice. I'll leave the link down below too, so you can catch that. So the first part of silog, the C, sinigang for garlic fried rice, and the log for it, log, that's a tongue twister. For ilog, it means it log, which means egg in uh, the Filipino language. So silog means Filipino uh, breakfast, basically. So it consists of garlic fried rice, a fried egg or any egg of choice, and a meat. And typically we eat it with longanisa, tapa, or tocino. So I've actually made these components in separate videos. I made my longanisa patties, I'll also link that below, and a soft boiled egg or fried egg, uh, but, uh, you can use whatever. I just did a soft boiled egg uh, video as well. I'll link all of this down below. But here I'm gonna show how we put it all together. All right, so if you have any questions, comment below. I know it's a little confusing, but just remember, silog is Filipino breakfast. And we typically don't eat it at breakfast all the time. We eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but you can eat it any time of the day because it's so good. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's get on with the video of how to put a silog together. So I'm gonna cook my longanisa patties first. So you wanna cook your meat of choice. Um, here is my longanisa patties. If you wanna get this recipe, I'm gonna leave the link down below. But again, you can use any meat that you like, spam, corned beef, tapa, tocino, whatever your meat will do. Next, you want to cook your garlic fried rice. I'll leave the link below to catch this garlic fried rice recipe, but I recommend using a day-old rice and lots and lots of garlic. Next, you're going to prep your eggs. Here, I am frying up an egg, and I'm just using this circular mold just for photo purposes. You don't have to do this, but I'll just fry up an egg or any egg of choice. You could do scrambled eggs, soft-boiled eggs, or fried eggs like I did. And you're just going to put this on a plate, and look how it turns out. Ooh, looks so good! Um, what you can do is also put the egg on top of the rice and let the egg yolk just run oh, so good and mix it in the rice is the perfect combination i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two of what salog is we are huge fans of filipino breakfast i highly recommend you keep these food the, at least the meat items in your pantry like spam or um, Vienna sausage um, and get some longanisa either make it or get it at your local Asian store or any meat actually will do um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll leave all the links below of all the other videos that kind of go along with this silog series um, the garlic fried rice one and the soft boiled egg one I'll leave it down below and also I'm gonna give away a free ebook is all about slug that you could do with the family it's also it's a mini ch children's ebook that includes an activity um, so your kids can customize their own um, salog. It's a little activity you could do at home. I'll leave the download link below so you can download this ebook right away. And that's just a huge thank you guys for watching this video and for enjoying all my videos. All right, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!